Hello everybody and welcome to the final broadcast we have for today. It's going to be NACE Rocket League St. Clair College versus Ole Miss University of Mississippi. Once again, I'm your host Matthias, also known as Mothas, and I'm joined once again by Theo, the Holy One. Yeah, it's another exciting matchup. Top 8, our green team, you know, very strong team trying to make it to the semifinal, but Ole Miss... They're going to put up a, a quite a tough challenge today. Yeah, they're going to put up one heck of a fight. If I know Ole Miss, they're one of the good old teams that we've seen before. They always bring the heat, and I don't know if this green team will be able to take it. I think if there's any team to do it, though, it'll be the green team. Yeah, without a doubt, it's a very strong team having a very, uh, very good season. And, you know, now it's a crunch time playoffs. Definitely expect them to make a deep, a deep, deep run in these playoffs. It starts with Ole Miss, but they need to not over overlook their, their opponents. One game at a time is the main, main thing here. They know that they're good enough to win the whole thing, but it all starts with a victory today. It all sp- starts with one victory. you got to take it one victory at a time, one game at a time. But, you know, we didn't just have one game today. Let's do a little bit of review of what we've had today. First, we kicked things off. You were there, Theo. I was. We had Overwatch. How did that one go? I mean, it was a crazy series, a Sinclair against uh, Blinn. I mean, went all five maps in the end, a Sinclair. We're able to come out on top. Uh, they made some prize money, I know, off of that victory. So making it to top uh, top four now, they're going to be looking to try to win another match in that playoffs. They're going to be playing against some of the best of the best still going to be rough but hey a good day a good day for them today yeah it seems like it's going to be a good day and it was also a very good day for our valorant aurora game che- aurora series game changers team i cast that one with amanda but it was a very good game and of course they won and hopefully it should go for the saints as well we're gonna have barrist on the lineup here and let's see how this one goes yeah there's gonna be a shot on target no goal C money looks to pass it over to Lunar there is going to be a quick goal to start off of this series as a that's a good that's just a good start for them you know quick quick goal for uh, 16 seconds in and that's exactly the page you want to get off to. that's exactly how you want to start things off against such a principled team such as Old Miss they've existed for quite some time now but with Jazzy oh, and like the that. rest of the crew they're able to match pace. I mean, Jazzy with a quick solo goal. Nobody from the opposing side stepping up and takes a one-on-one against the defender. Beautiful play there by Jazzy. You know, I think Jazzy is known to be kind of that offensive player for the Saints squad. So definitely expecting him to be up there and finding these good chances over and over. Exactly. Jazzy and the rest of the crew will bring that European rock and there you go. speciality of just passing it back and forth. And, and the, another pretty easy goal. Let's see how this one happens. A beautiful pass from one. And the defense has to do better there. Cannot allow a wide open shot there for Jazzy. But yet again, Jazzy's at the right place at the right time. Gives the Saints an early 2-1 lead. 2-1 lead already. This is looking to be a high scoring game. If already within the first 30 seconds, we have three goals. It's a goal every 10 seconds. My math maths. And now Jazzy <laughs> going to get the save here. Keep things moving in the corner they want to try and get it out here old miss trying to match pace here but i think the saints want to try and slow things down now but with a demo it might not work out that way stealth on target but a good save from jazzy a nice save there as old miss going to keep uh, pushing for this goal here there's a shot it's not going to be on target so it's going to give saints a bit of time to regroup they are going to kick that one up field the pass to themselves off the backboard with the defense for Ole Miss is there. Jazzy goes for that 50. Isn't it? Will win that one out. Barris, though, on the other side, passes down into the corner. It's going to be tapped away by C Money, who looks for a pass towards the middle. Bears does find a demo onto Lunar Stealth. Wins out that 50, but no follow up. St. Clair have calmed the game down. They have the lead, and things keep going this way. I mean, they're looking really good in this game one. Very, very good. Stealth trying to drive it downfield, though. Trying to look a little bit better than the Saints right now, but it's just very difficult for them to break through their defense. But they have a good lineup here. They have a good setup, but someone's there to mess it up. Now Barris going to keep things moving, keep things in their wheelhouse. 
Jazzy going for a crazy jump shot, can't quite land it. And now ball's up in the air, Lunar is going to be the one to go for the air carry. It's all up in the area now, off the top, Barris is going to be the one to knock that right back on track. Now Bear is trying to get a setup for the team in the corner, get it out of there, get it in front of the net, that's what they're hoping for. Going for off the top maneuver, gets sent right back down by Stealth. And he's not being very stealthy at all as he drives this one downfield. Yeah, St. Clair get off to a hot start, but they look to slow things down. They've done, do done so successfully. Ole Miss haven't really had any opportunities in these past few minutes that have really threatened the Saints. There could have been one, but a crucial save coming out from Barrist, I believe, who also finds the demo. Passed it up, does get demoed, but now there's a chance for the Saints to break. Ball's right in front of the net. The follow-up shot from Fab, so it's just off target, and now it's going to give Ole Miss a Saints to... Uh, a Opportunity to push on the counter. Stealth looking for that one, but that was such a crucial touch. Not too sure who made that one by the Saints, but a beautiful, beautiful touch. Now two minutes and ticking. St. Clair still have the lead as we have calmed down drastically from the beginning. Ole Miss, they've been pushing for a goal for quite some time now, and they're looking to get it right here. No shot on target just yet. Save is there again from Jazzy. I mean, Old Miss are pushing, but Saints are playing perfect defense so far. Playing a perfect defense indeed, Barrist. Trying to strive for even better than perfection here. Going for another save, driving it down to field in a one slick maneuver there. Fabso getting a nice shot. Barrist there to follow up. They're trying to overwhelm oh, Old Miss. To be big save from Lunar, and now they want to slow things down as the Saints are just driving this one all the way. They're not letting up off the gas, though. They're going to keep taking shots at this goal positioning in front of the net, waiting for someone to get that final strike. A little bit of a disruption from C-Money and a demo from Lunar. They're trying to take things back into their own hands. They're still down one goal. Yeah, a minute and taking now for Ole Miss. They need to make, get something going since that first goal of the game. They haven't really had too many opportunities as St. Clair has really clutched up defensively and offensively. Jazzy going to fly in out of nowhere to pick up the hat trick for himself. It's off a beautiful assist there as well. And perfect teamwork save is just not there. And that goal is a big one. That gives Saints a two-goal cushion with only 50 seconds to go. Yeah, 50 seconds to go. Two goals to catch up. Old Miss has a gargantuan task ahead of them. Barris going off the top, tries to get a set up. The Saints still continuing with the offenses. Seems to be the best defense for them right now. C-Money with a save. Big demo from Fab, so Stealth. Gonna get demoed by Barris as well. They're just gonna run out the clock here with all these demos. Putting a wrench in the plans of Old Miss. Saints doing a historically good job against Old Miss. Three goal lead, or two goal lead, three goals in all. 20 seconds remain. Things are looking tense for Old Miss. They need to get a goal here and not, not later as we're soon going to be out of time. Yeah, I don't think there's much to do here for Ole Miss. As St. Clair playing perfect defense. They get this one out of trouble. And with five seconds in ticking, two goals are not going to be scored in that time frame. They might find one consolation goal. But no matter what happens, this game will be going over to St. Clair. As soon as the ball touches down, there it is. The spike comes through. St. Clair take game one, three to one. Three to one, a great star for St. Clair Green. And now that puts them on the path to victory. But with Rocket League, it's always at least a best of five. At this point, I don't think it's quite a best of seven just yet. So every point matters, but it's not as close to over as a best of three would be at, at, when we'd have those Rocket League uh, weekends, bat, those CRL weekends. Those ones would go very quick. But now <laughs> we get to see the chance for these teams to adapt. Yeah, five game series if they go to distance. I mean, when you get those games that go all five, all five, it's definitely uh, an exciting matchup. It's a fun format. We're going to be going into map two. It's going to be St. Clair up one game to zero. They are on the blue side. University of Mississippi on the orange. Now the shot isn't on target from the side of University of Mississippi. And it looks like... We're going to have a little bit of a slower start to this game than uh, last game. We're not going to get three goals in the first 30 seconds. Almost a shot on target there. Won't be anything as 30 seconds in. This time we have a bit more kind of slower pace to the game. 
a quite slower pace. Oh, but what a save. Ole Miss really wants to get that early goal once again. Already 30 seconds in, though. No goals uh, as opposed to the three that we had last game. This is definitely a little bit more of a defensive oh. pace game. But Jesse can't quite save it. See money there with the follow-up off the follow-up. Wow, Ole Miss really knows how to hammer home these hammer home the. Hammer home these goals? I think that's Hammer home these goals, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> there it is. 14, 14 seconds left in the 14, fourth minute. Here we are, round two. Ole Miss starting things off a little bit hotter. I mean, Ole Miss started with the goal last game. It didn't last too long. This game looks like they will have the lead for the the period at the moment as they look to start a push of their own. But... University of Mississippi, they are doing a great job here in the second game. I mean, they've not allowed Saints many opportunities, and the Saints have been forced to make a couple of very nice saves that won't always happen if they're giving the opportunity for that one. Just it's harder to play good defense for a longer time than good offense. And it looks like University of Mississippi almost get another one there. A shot on target is put in, but. A save is made, and I mean, this ball's in the Saints half the entire time. If they want to come back into this game, they need to get out of the zone as it's going to be stealth wow. swooping in. It just looks like uh, Ole Miss has a Saints in a chokehold. Have them in a right chokehold right here, and no way to break it. There's, <clears throat> I think, a lot of ways Saints could maybe change up their offense, but it's all about the defense here. They have to try and take away the momentum from Mississippi. And now, <laughs> as we see Lunar go up into the sky, he's going to try and get, take a shot on the goal here. Stealth trying to make something work. Jazzy bringing it up. And now, down from the sky, he's going to try and bring it back down. A big <laughs> launch from Simani all the way back to the corner. Barrist oh. going to keep up the pressure. Yeah, and that's a good pass to himself. Can Barrist find it? It's a little bit too high, but Jazzy's there for the follow. Beautiful save there from C Money. Fab so gonna pass it to himself. Can he find anything right in front of the net? No, that was such a good chance for the Saints to put one into the back of the net, but just just missed there. It's gonna be great defense from Ole Miss, making sure they keep themselves two goals ahead. But there's Jazzy doing God's work and trying from oh, the crossbar. No, Fabso should get the follow through, but what a save by Lunar. Ole Miss have found all the stops they need, and now the counterattack is on Lunar. Looks to pass it to a team, but it drops right in front of the Saints goal. I mean, a couple golden opportunities there for St. Clair, but they need to follow up on Jazzy. Goes for the air carry. Now Barrist gonna just take it under. Not too sure even how that happened, but that's a beautiful goal there from Barris. You see Jazzy just kind of puts it in for a reset into the corner. Lunar gets caught off guard and Barris just walks into the net. Yeah, I just played the <laughs> ground game there. You know, it is Rocket League, but you don't always have to be rocketing around the sky. You could just drop, cruise it on in through the ground, 10-2. and two. But it's 1-2, and two, the scoreline here. It's Saints oh, making two another two. play for the goal off the crossbar. <laughs> Barris makes it 2-2 two to two at 2-0-2. Two two. Beautiful goal by Barris. A lot of twos all across Round the board, two. but it is game two. We're tied at two. Two minutes left in the game. And, you know, it would be a big game for either side. St. Clair, two unanswered goals. Now, if they can keep this going, I mean, they can mentally shatter Ole Miss. I feel like if they just score a couple more here... Because they were just off to such a good start, it felt like. And now St. Clair's really turned it up. Ball bounces right in front of the net. Jazzy going to be the one starting this attack. Takes it over his defender. It is saved out. Will force a reset out from Fab. So, but this is looking way better for St. Clair. They're not letting Ole Miss out of their own half. Just like Ole Miss was pressuring them for the first few minutes of this game. The clearances are coming through, though, from Ole Miss now. So... It's going to give a Saints something to worry about. Fabso makes a quite easy save, gets over to Barris, gets it back to Fabso, who takes over his defender. Can he get the shot on target? Doesn't look like that's going to be the case. A nice little bounce there as Jazzy has it. He's going to get Beard out on that 50, but Barris is there for the follow. Looks for the pass into the middle. Can't find anything as it's another reset. Another reset on board here. Lunar going for an air touch here to the air carry. Can't quite get it, though, as Fobso's throwing a wrench into his plans. Fobso with the axle breakers here trying to make oh. it into this net. Bounced shot. Can't quite find it, though. Lunar needs the clear, but 
Jazzy once again gonna try and still slow that one right down. Mississippi getting desperate. They don't want this to go to overtime. They want to try and end it right here. Barrist trying to go for a goal. The Saints keep getting the setup so can't finish them as Mississippi's defense is too strong. Yeah, it's good defense from Ole Miss as they're just tripling down on the defense. They're making sure no mistakes come through, nothing goes in, but 30 seconds and counting. Next goal could be all she wrote. Looks like Ole Miss are going to be the ones with the opportunity to do so. St. Clair near trying to get the ball out of the danger zone here. And that is danger right there. Luckily, it's not on target for St. Clair. And it's not going to be in 10 seconds now. Could it be the Saints to get one final push? That's a nice demo. It's going to be oh, Ole Miss. Wide the open. net's wide open. The save, though, from Barrist is there. As soon as this touches down, we're going into overtime. And there it is. Game two coming down to overtime. It's coming down to overtime. Game two, two on the clock. Oh. Everywhere, there's too many twos. But Ferris might Absolutely. have too much up his sleeve here. Can't quite get it off the backboard. Oh. Tries to get a shot, but now it's going to be University of Mississippi's counterattack turn. Everyone's pushed up. Ball's up in the air. It's back down. Mississippi not letting up off the gas. Yeah, Mississippi did a great job of stalling that initial one now, but that's a dangerous opportunity. Fab so doesn't get the shot on target, didn't have the angle there, but it's going to be put into the middle against Stealth, finds the clearance over to Jazzy. Jazzy looks to pass it back. Fab so does get bumped out. Lunar and takes it over his defender, trying to take it into the corner here is Fab so will have it, but a nice little stop there from the side of Ole Miss as they slow down the attack of the Saints. Stealth takes it over one. You can see Jazzy do doesn't want to contest just yet. Fab so waits for it. Lunar has a good opportunity there. Doesn't get the shot on Tari here. Bears gets a touch onto that one. Lunar looking to go against two of the defense from the Saints. It's pretty good. We're one minute in the overtime. There's a good shot right there from Old Miss and Stealth finds the game winner let's see this one one more time a beautiful pass from c money so much pace on this shot and just too much for fab so to handle we're tied up by one it's one to one now we're going to game four at minimum the question on everyone's mind is who's gonna take that lead will it be green or will it be good old miss and old miss really woke up in that second game it was a completely different game from the last game. I think the Saints just couldn't find those goals. They had so many opportunities, so many shots, but nothing kind of slipped through. A lot of times they would bounce in and then bounce yeah. out. I don't know if that you'd want to call it luck, but the ball just didn't go their way. Yeah, I mean, it is what it is. They were able to come back from 2-0 down, tied up, bring it to that overtime, but I feel like the Saints definitely have to have a bit more composure when they have a good opportunities because against a team like Ole Miss, you gotta you gotta take every opportunity you get, and uh, they haven't been doing so, uh, so so far. They haven't been doing that. And on the flip side, Ole Miss, I mean, they're just when they lock down defensively, they're hard to break through. You could see when they have all three players back, there's not much the Saints can find. The Saints did slip through here and there and had some good chances, but I feel like if they don't capitalize on those big ones, it's going to be a very hard series for them. Exactly. Every single shot on the goal matters here. Every save is seeming to matter a lot more, and they, I think they just really have to watch out for Ole Miss in the beginning. That's when I think they throw everything at the wall, just go full-on offense. If they win the kickoff, they're going to try and take a goal out of it, as we see right now. They're actually going to play a little bit further back, trying to play unpredictable. See money though, going to keep up the pressure. Yeah, it's going to be stealth flying in here. Jazzy gets that 50 50. Barris puts it on target. Lunar with a relatively easy save. And oh, misses on that one. Barris isn't there for the follow up just in time, though. Jazzy doesn't get that one either. So it's good defense from Oh, misses. That's a very dangerous play. See money just driving on the wall. A random ball hits his car. Five, so not the best clearance there and nobody in the goal that's a crucial mistake you just can't be making at this level yeah, no goalie especially when Mississippi's so aggressive here in the early game you don't want that to happen I know the Saints want to try and get some of that aggression for themselves but once again look at that Mississippi just goes on the full-on offense to get the early lead then they can slow things down and play the defense but they still want that two goal cushion they're pushing in on through Barris, going for a bit of a big lob there for the goal. They're forced to save it out, but they managed to do so. Stealth in the hands of the ball here. Oh! Now Barris going for something crazy, oh. but Fabso gets the goal. Good setup out of the corner. And it's an easy goal right back for the Saints. Lunar, you can see he's pre predicting his teammate's going to win that 50, but 
just not right and it's an easy easy cleanup for the side of St. Clair. Two kind of defensive misplays I would say here from each side leads to a goal so it's a good job by the offense of uh, following up on uh, the slight opportunity they get off of uh, the defensive players. Jazzy went for another goal. Simone is there for the save. Goes for the full court clearance. Jazzy has that one. Gives over to Stealth though. Dangerous position. First gonna win out on that 50. Jazzy passes it to a teammate. No Lunar's gonna be there to intercept it. Takes it over one defender. And there's Jazzy in the corner to make sure make sure nothing goes near the net. It's gonna go near, but Barris is gonna go near their net. Keep up the pressure here. Bring it up in the air. Jazzy there to meet it. Gonna keep up the <laughs> pressure once again. Not letting up at all. Fabso there to meet it in the air. They have to play the defense now. Taking it towards this middle, trying to make it a little bit no more of a neutral zone. They don't want it on this blue side for sure. Fabso just eyeing the perfect opportunity, waiting to meet that ball where it lands. Jazzy can get past the ball, but Lunar going to once again get a demo. Now they're down a man. It's going to be pretty tough. They managed to block it out. They do manage to block it out. Three minutes and taking. We're tied at one. There's a shot on target. Stealth forced to make a nice save. As Fabso looked for a cheeky goal there. Now on the outside, Jazzy passes it to himself. He's gonna get the drop to go there. Barrist gonna be the first one to the ball. Tries to clear it out, but there's a shot on target from Stealth Fab. So is there for the save? Another dangerous opportunity for University of Mississippi as they look to take the lead here, but just can't find anything to work against this lockdown Saints defense. But as I say that, they get a wide open shot on target. Jazzy, right place, right time, finds the save. Find the save, but they're getting a little bit scattered here. <laughs> There's a lot of shots on the goal. They need to get boost. They're running out, going for the air carry. Jazzy trying to make something work here. They need something, anything. They're going for a triple commit. Not going to quite find it as Lunar is doing an air carry right back. Jazzy needs to save this, and he is hopefully just not on target. I don't know if he would have made it in time. Now, yeah. Fabso keeping this ball going across the field. This is ping pong, everybody. <laughs> it's just back <laughs> and pong. forth. Can't really tell who's in the lead right now. As it's just back and forth. Well, I can tell you who's in the lead. Nobody at this moment. We're still tied up at one as both teams struggle to find anything to go their way. But one tiny mistake, one tiny good play from either side could lead to the victory. And let's see how the Saints decide to play this attack. Fab, so goes for the 50. Lunar, beautiful defense there. Able to win it back. Tries to take it over Bears, but that's not going to happen. Fab, so pass it back. Jazzy won't be there. It's going to be C money. The demo is big, but there's a shot on target from Barris. And it's the passing play from Mississippi. He gets a bit mixed up here towards the end. C money doesn't go for it. Lunar doesn't go for it. Barris just picks it up. Scores an easy long shot there. And beautiful goal from St. Clair to take a 2 1 lead. Barrett taking it up to a 2 1 lead, but uh, you got to watch out for this Mississippi kickoff. Old Miss oh, yeah. always knows how to get these crazy starts. I mean, look at that. C Money already getting a setup off the backboard. Gets cleared out by Fab. So the Saints now just need to stall this out for one minute. And I think that's the plan as every offense has been so risky. They can't risk doing something crazy like this. Jazzy, though. If I know someone who's crazy, it's got to be him. He's going to go for the crazy play every time, the one in a million play. That's a, what these green teams will do. Yeah, shot on target there from Jazzy. Doesn't get too much done. Stealth goes for a one-on-one. -on -one. Fab, so is there with the save as now. St. Clair taking things back into control. That was a great opportunity for ISU, but a save is there again for the side of St. Clair. 30 seconds in, taking ISU near the goal if they want to keep themselves tied up in this series. If not, Saints will go up two games, 2-1. Barrist going to get a touch there and 15 seconds in ticking. I mean, St. Clair, all they need to do is just play solid defense here for the next few seconds. This guess third game will be theirs. One final opportunity for ISU as it's going to be cleared out into the corner now if it ever touches down. That's going to be the game and it's going to be St. Clair Saints taking a 2-1 lead in the series. 2-1 lead in this series and how <laughs> tense this has been. Every single point matters so much. Now you're on that series point. You can play a little bit more comfortably, maybe even a little bit more aggressively to try and get that win early on. But 
can definitely tell that Mississippi is forcing them to play the defensive game. They can't let up on the defense there. Every single time they go for the offense, if they overcommit even just a little bit, Ole Miss is there to punish. Yeah, Old Miss, they're they're trying. They're playing good Rocket League, but St. Clair are just playing a little bit better, and that's why they have the small advantage at this time. They're up two games to one as Jazzy has a one-on-one. -on -one. How's he going to play this one? Gets wow. it past the defender, Jazzy. Huge play to start off this game. Going to give his team a lead as C, Money, and Lunar both got put into the blender by Jazzy there, and it's a very swift advantage for the side of St. Clair. Jazzy is just being the GOAT this game. He's getting every single goal that matters. I mean, the rest of the team also putting in so much work. I mean, you can't fault the Barrist or Fabso for getting these amazing setups. But you gotta keep the defense strong. You can't overcommit here to the offense. You're up a goal. That's no reason to give up a goal in any sort of way. Jazzy with a risky save, but it gets the clear. Jazzy makes that save, and another save comes out here. Lunar. Yeah, it's a touch on, it's going to be reset, oh my goodness, a player flying in, got that solid contact, that could have been a second goal, and would have been a crucial one, Lunar was ready there for that follow-up, but now Saints have the counter-attack, Barris puts it to the corner, puts it right back to a teammate, nobody's there, triple defense from ISU, keeps them in a 1-0 game, an easy save here from Jazzy, now takes around the defender, finds the bump, and it's going to be Barris with a one-on-one -on -one opportunity. Lunar flies in from the side to save that one. Now Fab Solo puts it up, has it off the back there. Shot on target. Lunar finds the save. St. Clair putting a lot of pressure on ISU here. That's what you got to do, Mississippi. Kind of gets very frazzled when you put on that much pressure. And I mean, look at that. And that's wide open once again. You just have to slip it past two of their teammates. But they're always very oh! the rotations. And as again. I say that, Jazzy finds the hole in the rotation and sends it in. I mean, Jazzy has had an amazing performance here. Notices a tiny mistake from ISU. And that's a tiny minimal mistake. And able to jump on that, I mean, only the best of the best can spot that right there. Flying into three. If you don't get that ball, you're in a bit of trouble on defense, but it doubles the lead of the Saints. Jazzy now looking for the hat trick, going very, very slowly. Barrist isn't able to find that tap in. It's now St. Clair going to be forced to back up, but with a two goal cushion, definitely expect them to hang on. I expect them to hang on as well. We're, we have still have three minutes left in the game. We're not even halfway done this. And if every single time the Saints make a single slip up, that ball is getting sent towards the goal. So they always have to have at least one sitting there to make sure no lobs just fly in from across the map. Oh, but that's a that's really a good shot from Pab, so gets saved out by C Money. Big save there. That could have given the Saints another goal and some more cushion. But now it's going to start the counter for ISU. That could have been a goal in itself right there. Huge touch from Pab, so keeps them alive. Jazzy now flying through the air. Barrist gets a touch on that one. Stealth with the defense is able to defend it well and now it's going to be Jazzy trying to get the stop gets the stop we're halfway done through the game if St. Clair are able to hold on they will be victorious moving over to the semi-finals so high stakes on this game Jazzy with a crucial touch it's going to just slow down the attack of ISU here they look to push St. Clair though not giving up on the defensive end not giving anything oh. up here but wow almost <laughs> gave up a goal they can just save it once again and Jazzy once again going for the hat trick can't quite find it but still you want to keep up as much pressure as you can oh. even if you don't get a goal as long as it's bouncing around that orange side you're at the advantageous state yeah Fabso had a chance there to make it three but here is Barrist the save is there however from the side of ISU so they are still staying composed even down two goals they're not doing anything silly to uh, just over commit but it's getting to that kind of crunch time where you, where you might need to do some silly things to try and come back in this one to really throw the Saints off their game. But the Saints don't really care. They're still going to be pushing forward as they look for a third. Okay, now for the third one in a oh, row. Oh, Jazzy. Jazzy trying to get the double. Oh, points, there it is. There's Fab so to follow up. Three and oh, one minute 30 remaining. I mean, it's not impossible, but it's looking like it could be for University of Mississippi. Yeah, I mean, that might just be the nail in the coffin. Three goals. University of Mississippi have only scored three goals once in this series, and that was in the overtime game. So 
Sinclair definitely going to be favored, but almost a goal there for you to receive a CP off the kickoff. That would have been something. That would have been the best start possible. They get a shot on target, but the Saints do save that one out. And the more time this ball spends just flying around, the better for St. Clair's. They're just one minute away from moving on. One minute left on the clock. Stealth going for a crazy play here. But Bear is going to stop that one out. And that's what you love to see if you're a Saints fan. You want to see that strong defense, especially when Mississippi is getting so desperate. Yeah, that was a good defensive save right there again. Lunar going for the finish is not able to find it there. Fab, so on the counterattack now. I'll look for a goal as Bears flies in. What a save from Stealth. Perfect timing, but it comes right back to Bears, who just flicks it in. 4 2 0 for the side of St. Clair. I mean, this is just a great performance to close out the series as huge lead 35 seconds and ticking I don't think there's any way ISU can come back into this I don't one. think there's any way indeed the Saints would have to put down their controllers at this point and just let those goals fly in and even then it might be a tough job to make they're going on an all out on the offense just looking for another <laughs> goal to round out those stats but I don't think it's going to quite happen here. 15 seconds remain. It's up to St. Clair Green to just play the defense. Make sure this ball doesn't get in that net. Oh, I think it might. No, the save is there just in time. Well, they're going to get a consolation goal. I mean, <laughs> why not? I mean, why not? <laughs> yeah, you don't want to end the series with <laughs> zero goals. Yeah. Here. You want to try and get something in. And Mississippi, though, forced to be reckoned with. But the green team is just a little bit of a greater force. Yeah, absolutely. And it's a very well-deserved win from the side of the Saints. They did play better. There. That is the main reason to why they are victorious. They win the last game 4-1. They take the series 3-0. to zero, And they move to top four. Yeah, and that's no small feat indeed. Top four, an absolutely amazing accomplishment and an accomplishment to all of our teams we've had here today. All of them continuing to win the playoffs, but that only means there's more stronger battles ahead. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, great job from everybody today. Everyone was victorious, which is what we love to see, even against some very tough opponents. Our Overwatch, Valorant, and Rocket League teams all came out on top today and you know they're gonna be playing for the highest uh, highest positioning possible in these tournaments now yeah they're going for the gold they're going for the win and i th i have some belief they just might as well do it but that's all we have for today thank you very much for watching thank you theo for joining me up on the desk thank you aiden for wanting running the stream and thank you amanda for joining me on the desk and running the stream <laughs> as well doing double duty there but with that all being said, we're going to have to thank our sponsors as well. Thank you, Alienware. Thank you, Tim Hortons. Thank you, Subway. Thank you, St. Clair SRC. And thank you, St. Clair College Alumni Association. Join us again tomorrow for more Saints gaming action. But it's been a long day, and that's all we have. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you then.